Okay, yes friends, uh, so I have just received my uh, Benro 660 tripod from Flipkart. I just opened it. So this is some invoice receipt. Okay, it costed me uh, 1745 rupees. Okay, well I ordered it on uh, on 7.25 and today is 7.27 so within just two days I received my order from Flipkart which is really really awesome and I just opened it so let me unbox it okay so here is the Benro 660 uh, it is made in China though uh, you see here are the instructions okay there is a price tag here it's manufactured in February 2011 well the packet is not sealed back it's not sealed back It comes with a carry bag inside. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Nice carry bag, but it has got a well called. Uh, this is how it looks like. Let me open it quickly. Okay comes in this pouch <clears throat> okay oh, so this is what it looks like uh, these are the instruction manuals and the warranty card Okay, so let's see how it looks like. Seems to be quite sturdy. Here it is, the Benro 660EX. I uh, and here I have the bubble meter. If uh, if you can look at it. Okay, here is the bubble meter actually. There's a bubble meter uh, which will tell me the proper uh, level. So it's quite sturdy and uh, well, three legged. And this is how. The total height will increase. So I have to clamp it. Well friends, uh, this is how the complete uh, uh, BenQ tripod will look like the BenQ T660EX uh, in, its, in its complete uh, height okay now let me tell you a little more about how to fix the camera here okay here is the lock if you can see that just flip this and take this one out it's very easy Let's just flip this and take this one out I'll just put it here okay now now there is a screw here what I'll do is I'll uh, put my other camera it's my Nikon D, uh, D5000 
I'll just try to fix it here. Just push it. And then there is a knob at the behind of it. So I'm doing it in one hand. I'm mean putting the knob. So just try to fit it here. So it's almost done. It's done. Okay. Now the next part is to take it out. Go here, open this knob and just try to fix it. Okay, and you're done. That's it. Now I'm ready with my Nikon D5000 to shoot. Well, uh, well friends, here is another uh, feature of this uh, tripod. Just wanted to show you that. Uh, well, okay, this does not stop here basically. There is one more thing. After, after this a total height, we can still increase the height of the camera like this. Just loosen this knob. There is a knob here, you see that. So just loosen, just loosen this knob and then there is a handle out here. So try revolving it. And do you see that? This thing goes up. And then turn the reverse way, it goes down. Well, that's good and then just tighten this and then good well let me show you that once I do that and open it I can still move it in different directions let me bring it back and close it well that's it uh, so there are a few more uh, features of this uh, tripod which I just wanted to tell you uh, about the knobs basically. So there is one knob here. This knob. Let, let's go by this knob first. So you see that. When I just loosen it, what happens is I can move my camera like this way. Okay, sideways. I can move this way. And so this is one option okay there is another one is like my camera moves okay this is actually the knob here which is not very uh, tight it keeps on moving so but anyways and uh, there is one here you see I, I can I can I, I can move my camera like this but if I just loosen it I can move it much more freely so this is the knob actually which uh, which basically uh, gives, you a, gives you a space by which actually you can move this or the speed with which you can move this uh, in this panoramic way ok and there is one more which is this knob you can still open this ok this is basically what this is basically this way vertically ok so this triggers that and, and I can now it's, it's now tight so if I just move it my camera won't, won't particularly move so I have to loosen it so that I can move my camera this way. So basically for the like uh, down shots or say up shots like this kind of a shot so I can take it very easily without any disturbance. So so we have seen this, we have seen this, we have seen this one we have seen this handle also, we have seen this knob also. Uh, I don't think anything else is left out but well one more part is you see this uh, particular groove, I'm not sure whether this, this is visible but there's, there are grooves here so with this groove what happens is if I do a pan, if I take a panoramic shot I can actually uh, take a mark of these grooves and this will give me a much more flexibility to, uh, to take this uh, panoramic shots and then I can stitch it to get a actual, pa actual uh, panoramic view so probably this uh, kind of completes the whole story I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much